Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be something a little bit different and that is a makeup drawer declutter. So I've been meaning to declutter my makeup for a while now. I just honestly have been collecting makeup since like the beauty YouTube days were really high since like 2015 to 2018, 2019. I was really into makeup. I was buying the new releases and wearing it a lot. And ever since COVID, I've been wearing less and less makeup. So on a daily basis, I have like my regular everyday stuff that I use. But besides that, I don't use a lot of it. So I just needed to declutter some stuff. I had a lot of old expired products and um, a lot of lipsticks and things that just are really old and I shouldn't even be using anymore for fear of, you know, contaminating myself with whatever's growing on them. So. I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and let you guys watch the declutter. It's pretty satisfying, I have to say. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you're interested, I do have another declutter series that I'll like link up above, but it was so much fun and so therapeutic to just go through my makeup drawer and get rid of stuff that I've been meaning to get rid of for a while. So I really hope you guys enjoy and please don't comment any hate or anything like that. Um, most of the stuff that I'm getting rid of is expired and really gross and I know it's wasteful, but I'm getting rid of it now and I promise I will not be repurchasing as much as I used to in the future and anything that is good I will try to give to any friends or family that wants it, but yeah, that's just my little disclaimer. But with all of that being said, let's get into the declutter. Okay, so this is my Alex 9 drawer unit from Ikea that I've had honestly for maybe five years or so but the top drawer is all my everyday makeup, so I know this stuff I'm going to keep. Um, I rotate through it pretty frequently, and um, this is all stuff that I use every day, so we're gonna leave this out. And then the next drawer I have is brushes, and honestly, I've already done this before. I like to keep multiple brushes just in case I have like festivals or concerts and I wanna have some more um, eye makeup brushes because you never know when you're gonna need a makeup brush for like hot pink eyeshadow. So I like to have a variety. So I'm not gonna declutter this either. And I do have a swatch right here because I just got a new <laughs> Fenty eyeliner. I was swatching it. But now this one, I know for sure I'm going to declutter a lot. So I brought you down a little bit. As you can tell, this is a pretty full drawer. This is like a bunch of face products and like some brow stuff and concealers and things. Um, this is like a really random RMS Beauty gold highlight. I'm going to get rid of this. I just got it as like a free Sephora sample. This is an old BB cream. So for reference also, just going to put this out there. I probably haven't bought, most of this stuff is probably not from this year or last year or even 2020 or 2021. Most of this stuff is probably 2018 and before because I was definitely part of that like beauty YouTuber phase. So if anything's like old, I'm just gonna chunk it. I'm sorry if you feel bad about that. I don't, it's expired, I can't give it to anyone. It's gross and I shouldn't even be using it on myself. So I don't wanna hear anything about that. I'm just gonna get rid of it if it's old. Um, there's no purpose in trying to do anything with it. If it's recyclable, I'll try to do that, but if not, I'm sorry, I just have to throw it out. So this is a consequence of Beauty YouTube from like, I would say what, 2013 to like 2018 was Beauty YouTube time. So I had a lot of purchases left over from then. But anyways, um, one of these things that I did get, uh, I was influenced to buy this Misha BB, cre BB cream. This shade though is like the lightest thing ever. It's bright beige. I've had it for maybe two years. Um, and so I think the SPF does not work anymore. And yeah, it is just like super, super white. So I am gonna chunk it. Another thing that's a little bit old is this Pixie Glow Mist, but you can tell I literally have so little left. I probably have like this much left. So I'm gonna actually put this in my everyday makeup drawer just to finish it. Cause I think I could finish it in under a month, maybe in a few weeks. So I will do that. Um, this Anastasia foundation, I have to check how old it is because I think it is running on at least two years old and the expiration says 12 months on the bottom. So I should only have it for a year technically, but I don't know. If it's only two years old, I'll keep it. If it's older than that, I'll get rid of it. Oh, and I forgot. I have this back here. This is the Skin & Co Truffle Mist. 
I got this in a boxy charm, and I haven't had boxy charms since probably 2018. So this is definitely old. Um, but I did spray it earlier, um, and it has the strongest spray ever, and it actually felt really cool. Sorry if you heard my boyfriend, he's gaming. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's very cooling feeling, so I'm actually gonna bring it to the beach with me, and I'll put it in my beach bag. Like I feel like this will be a nice spray to spray on your face after the beach, so I'm gonna do that. And if you see a star on any of my makeup, um, I used to be a project panner, and so this was has a star on it because I need to finish it um, according to my project pan rules, which is just like, it's old. <laughs> okay, this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter is so old. Um, this was back when they didn't have shades, although it does say light. I just noticed that. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll have to check how old this is. I think that these two were in the same purchase, so they might be the same age. So I'll check on that. Um, this super goop setting powder. I know I bought this last year. I'll keep that. And Milani make it last. I just bought, I'm not really liking the matte version, but I think it'll be nice for summer. This Chella Beauty brow cream is definitely old. This was another boxy charm thing. I loved it. But honestly, there's not a lot of product left. I got some good use out of this. Um, and it's really gross now, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This Laura Mercier Shadow Stick, I'm gonna test it out. Okay, yeah, it's still super creamy. I'm gonna keep this. I don't think it's even like a year old yet. Elf Black Eyeliner, I think I just bought this last year because I got rid of all my other liquid liners because they were old. This is an old single shadow, but I still love it, so I'm gonna keep it unopened, super new. Um, under eye corrector, pretty vulgar setting powder. I'm gonna keep, although this was also a boxy charm find and so was this Dermablend one, but I'm still gonna keep them because they're just loose powder. This I know I bought, I think last year or the year before, I'm gonna keep it. I just like this if I'm gonna do really fun eye makeup looks. This is an old Wet n Wild eyeliner I got for Christmas one year. And it's one of these like, wooden pencil ones and it doesn't feel the best so I don't think I'm gonna keep it I never really used it but it is like probably four years old so I should chunk it because nobody should be using that on their eyeballs this is an old flower beauty like freckle pen it's technically a brow pen I don't even think they sell this anymore um but it would always run out when I try to use it as freckles so I'm just gonna get rid of it this Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Primer, another thing I got from, I think, an Ipsy bag. This is really old, so I'm going to just chunk it. And then this is actually pretty sad. This is an e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Light Sand. I actually use Medium Sand right now. This is too light for me. I'm going to try and see if I can't give this to one of my friends, if, if it'll match her or something. Okay, this side is all my cheek products. I know this Mary Kay highlighter is so old and you can tell it's separating, so I'm just gonna chunk it. It's definitely over four years old. This I'm Heart Stamp Blush. I have not used in years. Um, not years, maybe, I've maybe had it two years because this hasn't even been out that long. So I definitely need to use it this summer and if I don't use it this summer, I'll get rid of it. Oh, this Flower Beauty Blush Balm is probably old too. What does it say? Six months, are you kidding me? Does that mean I need to get rid of this? I'm so sad, I love this stuff. Do they even sell it anymore? I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to keep it. Um, it's probably old. But it's still the, oh. Dang, it's actually not applying very well. It's, I feel like this formula changed since last summer when I last used it. So, oh my gosh, I think I have to get rid of it. I'm so sad. I did not want to get rid of this one, but it's probably four years old. Okay, this Merit Beauty Great Skin Oil, I'm gonna keep, I just got this, so gotta test it out. I know that this Wet n Wild Blush Stick is so old and it's like actually a little crusty, um, but I have so much left. Wow, okay. I think I might repurchase this one instead of repurchasing the flower. I don't even know if they still make that Flower Beauty um, Blush Balm. But yeah, have to get rid of both of these. They're, this one's definitely like six years old. This one's only four. And then this Mary Kay cream blush. This one I just got last year, so I'll keep this. Okay, all my powder blushes are definitely from 2018. Like, I don't think any of these, anything in this back section is from a year in the 20s. We've got State Highlighter. I'm gonna get rid of it. I never use this like pinky color, so I'm gonna get rid of it. 
Oh, this Laura Geller baked blush is so pretty. I think I'm gonna have to keep it, even though I have the Milani baked blush in Luminoso and that one, no, sorry, it's in uh, Rose Amore. Um, that one's probably old too, but I'm gonna keep this because I really like it. Same with this Ulta Beauty baked blush. You can tell I've loved this thing for years. I've hit pan, I'm almost, I'm probably almost finished with it, so I probably should just finish it and then buy a new one. ABH Blush Trio, I love this. This actually might be a little newer because I bought this at um, uh, TJ Maxx, so I think I'll keep this one. It's good colors for um, summer too. Laura Geller Beauty Baked Gelato Vivid Swirl Blush in Plumberry. This one's a little older, I think. I love this shade for um, fall and winter though, so I think I'm gonna keep this one. This Tarte Corky Blush. I think this one's not old either because I got it as a free gift with purchase. So I think I'm gonna keep that as well. This Ofra Pink Highlight. I actually like to use this one as eyeshadow, so I'll keep this one. I know these two are like super, super old. So this is a Too Faced little chocolate Soleil bronzer and it actually doesn't even work anymore. It doesn't smell like chocolate, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Really sad about that one. And then this Essence Satin Touch Blush that broke. It's in the shade Satin Love. I love this shade. Um, for a while there, I really loved it and I haven't used it in years, so I'll get rid of it. Down to some more highlighters, Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter. I love this for the summertime. When I get more tan, I can use this as a gold highlighter. Ofra Gold Highlight. I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't use like these kind of crazy highlights anymore. I'd much prefer something very subtle like this. I'll show you the difference. See the difference in those two? This one just sits so much better on the cheeks versus this is just glazed donut. So this is a single, uh, what is this? This is a single highlight from Ciate London and Moon Dust. I don't think they make this anymore. This is such a pretty color, but this is definitely like four years old. And I have a new Hourglass blush palette that I use their highlight that's similar to this instead. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. Oh, that makes me so sad though. This one was really pretty for a while there. Oh, but I just don't do this kind of highlight anymore. So yeah, I'm getting rid of it. Okay, well now everything fits. So that makes me feel a lot better. Now we're gonna move on to a drawer that I'm really dreading, which is lips. You guys, <laughs> I have so many in here. And so I think to narrow this down, I'm gonna start by taking out the ones that I know are new slash from this year or last year. So I know this little mint cocoa scrub is from this past winter. I just got this little mini Charlotte Tilbury. I know I bought this in the fall of last year or maybe in 2020, honestly. I know this little e.l.f. matte lip cream in Pinky's Up is new. So is this Merit Beauty lip oil. It's flawless, forget the filler. I know this guy is probably a couple years old. Um, I do really love this color for summer though. It's just a little bit messy, but I think I will still keep it. I know this one is actually still pretty new, but when I bought this Ride or Die lip balm, it like wasn't mixed properly. So I just need to like play with it a little bit and then it'll be fine. But I know I bought this last year. I think this uh, Bath and Body Works Winterberry Lip Gloss is not old either. I think it's maybe two years old, so. Okay, I know that I got these two as part of a Christmas present in 2020. So I'll keep this, or sorry, in 2021. I know this Merit red lipstick is pretty new too. And then I know that I did like a fall lipstick haul in 2021. So here's this Ulta Beauty Chocolate Kiss. Oh, I loved this one. Oh yeah, that one's so pretty. I got this ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Ziggy. This one is such a pretty like orange brown for fall. So I'll put these over here. This um, Maybelline Spice for me. Oh my God, so pretty for fall. And this Wet n Wild Cedar Later, also a beautiful fall lip gloss. So I'm gonna keep all four of those. Now here's where the problems start because all of this, all of this is probably from before 2020. 
So this is gonna be hard, but I love these Girlactic lip paints. And I'm gonna have to repurchase them, I think, because they are so glorious. I use them for every special occasion, but these are probably mm, five, six, or seven years old. I got them in a BoxyCharm, and I have one in Demure and one in Blossom. This beautiful pink is perfect for spring and summer, and this nudie brown is just perfect for year round. So sadly, I'm gonna have to chunk these because they're super old, but I think I will repurchase. Okay, these Revlon balms. I love these. And you know what? I need to put these in my purse, especially this cherry one. I will use this up this summer, I think. I'll aim to use this one up. I love it. It's probably three or four years old. Um, and then this like super dark berry one is perfect for fall and winter. So I'm going to keep both of these. I really love them. They're very pretty and natural. Okay, chapsticks. I honestly never get rid of a chapstick. Um, but I need to put this Hawaiian Tropic one in my beach bag because I'll never use it besides then because it tastes like the beach. Um, and then Vanilla Latte and Holiday Cocoa. I'll keep those. Okay, this Rare Beauty Matte Lip Paint uh, in Confident is old. Um, I mean, maybe it's two years old. But I thought I hated this color, but I actually used it the other day with a darker lip liner and I really loved it. I used it with... Or no, I actually used it with this. This real her little mini lipstick, which I'm so close to finishing. This one's also from an old Ipsy, uh, but I think I'm going to keep these because I liked that lip combo. Okay, sad, sad truth here. These Essence Shine lip glosses are so old. This one looks gross, and this one's just old. Um, so I probably had these since 2015 or something, and ooh, ooh, yeah. They're definitely too old, so sadly I'm gonna have to get rid of them. I think I will have to repurchase though a clear lip gloss because I really loved this one for that, so I'm gonna have to get rid of them. Okay, another go-to fave for years are these two Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. This one is a red shade in Standout, and this one is in Sultry. I used Sultry at every major function since I was like 13. Not 13, maybe 15. So this one's old as hell. And this one I've used for every red lip for every function. This one's also old as hell. You can see because it's like changed coloring on the side. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Now that I have this um, Merit Beauty red lip, I think I'll be okay. Um, I'm hoping this will be a good replacement because I swear I loved this so much. But this is definitely like a bluey red. Maybe I'll, ch oh gosh, that looks so different. I'll have to try this one on together and see if I'll get rid of it. Even though it's so old. <laughs> I, I really liked this color on me. I don't know if I've ever tried this one on me. All right, let's do these lip liners. So here's a Wet n Wild lip liner. This one's old and I never liked this color, so I'm gonna get rid of it. That was easy. Uh, this Jante Blue, I also never like the color, and it is a wooden pencil. Like, ugh, no. And then this Essence one is also a wooden pencil, but it's like this brown color. Oh my god, it hurts to put on my hand though, so I'm gonna get rid of it because I'll never use this on my, on my lips. That hurt. Okay, this little Too Faced lip gloss set. I'm missing one. I think I'm missing like a white sparkly one. Um... These are a little older. I want to say maybe from 2020, and I definitely picked these up at TJ Maxx with my mom. Um, this shade is fun to have around because I don't have anything like it, but honestly, I would never use a sparkly pink or a sparkly nude. Um, hmm, it is pretty, but this is my dilemma. So I have these, and then I have these Kylie ones that are almost exactly the same. And I prefer the Kylie ones, so I'd rather keep the Kylie ones and get rid of these. So I'm gonna get rid of all three of these. Now, don't get me wrong, these Kylie ones are also old. <laughs> these are probably from 2019, um, so they're pretty old. And you know what, I don't know that I've used them a ton, but they're always good to have on hand um, because I never know when I'm gonna need this kind of shade pattern. So I have this like goldy red. I have gold and I have this white gold, which I actually used this the other day. So I'm gonna keep these three. Sorry. NYX Butter Gloss. I think I just repurchased this in Bit of Honey. 
I'm almost positive I just purchased this like this year or last year. I mean last year or the year before that. So I'm definitely keeping this one because it's pretty new. And then these two NYX lip lingeries I haven't used in years because they're like matte lipsticks. So I'm going to get rid of them. And this last one is my only like pink lipstick left. So I'm going to keep it, but it definitely is from like 2018. Um, but this is a Clinique shade in Love Pop. But I wear this like every Valentine's Day and whenever I need a pink lip. So I'm going to keep it. Okay, doesn't that look so much better? So here's my little chapsticks, all my like fall color lippies, and then just all the regular other lippies. I think this looks so much better. Wow. Okay, this one's gonna be really hard. This is my eyeshadow and eyelash, really just like palette drawer. I used to collect eyeshadow palettes. I've been a lot better about it since then, but okay, I brought you guys down a little more. Um, so let me just pull out my newest palettes. I know like these are probably my newest ones and I'm definitely keeping them. I love this little Too Faced mini hot butter drum. I travel with this one a lot. Absolute love, totally keeping. Hourglass, I picked this up I think in 2021 or 2020. Um, this was like one of my first big girl purchases when I got once I got a job, so probably 2020 and I love it. A soft glam too i probably picked up maybe two years ago another great travel palette and then gingerbread extra spicy i asked for for christmas in maybe 2021 um but i do really love this palette i really mainly wear one two three sometimes these pinks and then like all the shimmers over here i never wear like this color <laughs> okay now that we got that out the way those are probably my favorites because they're the newest um, I have two ABH palettes, so I have Subculture here, which honestly is a little old, but I love it for this green shade, which is just so fun in the summer um, and kind of into the fall. That's really the only shade I use in here. And then every now and then if I want a green eye look, but I never wear green eye looks. So should I get rid of it? Oh my gosh. Mm, I'm going to have to sit and think about this one. So I'll leave it over here like that. Norvina. Norvina I actually use a lot. Um... This one needs to be cleaned, but I love the shimmer shades. If you can't tell, I love this pink, if I ever want a pink look, and I love this and this. And yeah, it just looks a little more well-loved. So I'm gonna keep Norvina, and I think I'm gonna get rid of Subculture just because it has only one shade. So really sad, really sad I have to get rid of Norvina, but I like I don't think I've ever touched like any of the like these three or this one so I'm just gonna get rid of it this is a little Mary Kay oh it's a pressed powder oh my god I did not know that I had this I'm gonna actually stick this in one of my purses because this is super convenient okay cool okay Kylie Jenner dear Santa palette I think this is also what came in the same line as those lip glosses um this is old probably from 2019 um but I do bring it out every Christmas for these red shades. Um, and honestly, these golds are kind of pretty. I should start using these more in this one. Okay, okay. I think I've convinced myself. I'll put this at the top of the palette drawer. And I should use it more because I do actually like it. Let's just get this stuff out the way. This is a color switch. I definitely need to clean it. So I will leave this out to clean up. Empty lashes, great. <laughs> oh, I need this mascara card. Um, is there anything in this? Oh yeah, okay, great. Oh, cute. And then this is a little travel size mirror um, that I got from Daiso, I think. You can like stand it up and stuff. Okay, this is all of my eyelash stuff. This glue is really very new. This glue is very old, so I'm gonna Oh, wait, it doesn't look old, actually. Maybe I just replaced this. Let's see how this looks. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Let's just chunk this one. Just because I know I just bought this one. Probably in the winter of last... Or the fall of last year. I don't know. But Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I have not used this in a while, but I did purchase it probably in 2019 or 2020. Um, I love this shade for the summer for a summer highlight. And I really do like this blush for the summer too, and this, so I think I'm gonna keep it. 
Oh my god, this Soph X Revolution palette. It's so cute and so old. It's so old. This is also one of my like great festival palettes because it has a pink and a purple highlight. But do I need this? This is on the chopping block. But I'm not sure I'm gonna get rid of it. This is probably from 2017 though. So it's not good. Okay, Alamar palette from what is this? Brand? Oh, Alamar Cosmetics. Uh, Reina del Caribe palette beautiful palette this is so old though and I really only ever use like this green and this blue sometimes so I'm gonna get rid of it I can't see myself using this blue so so sad I really liked this palette okay more festival stuff I have some crystals this is from Halloween some butterflies I did like the half butterfly thing for ACL this year I loved it now this is really a festival palette this has all the bright colors you should ever need I've never used this blue but honestly that would be fun so I'm gonna keep this just for festival looks honestly I know it's old but I'm gonna keep it okay naked cosmetics also an old festival palette but are you kidding me are you kidding me I'm keeping it sorry okay old lashes Okay, these are, yeah, these are all clean. So I will keep these. Don't know if I'll use these again, but. Oh, looky here, we have some brand new lashes. Love that. Some more of these, I hated these. Absolutely despised them. They were way too thick, so that's that. These I hated too. These are from like, I don't, eBay? I'm getting rid of these. Those are old. Oh, and then these are pretty. These are all Del Ardell Foam Inks from Christmas time. Definitely keeping these. Okay, cool. I didn't know I had these. I'll keep those on top. And then this big Mary Kay palette, which has some um, blushes, bronzer, um, eyeshadows. I need to use this more because I forget about it, but I always come back for this brown. And then this pretty this color is pretty too. I need to remember that I have this. Oh, and this green's really nice for Christmas time. I think I'm keeping this. 